one of the things that I can't stand as I um, begin to try to understand my dyslexia and ADHD and I share it with certain people how to try to make it seem like I don't have these issues no fault to them but because of all the things I've accomplished over the years I think for most people they won't really understand what I've experienced and the reason why I want to talk about this is um, I think when it comes to some of these mental illness that we all face and some of it's severer than others some need medications and some don't I think it's important people to understand that you may not truly understand someone but that individual has been trying their whole life to understand what it is that they've been struggling with so for you to try to tell someone oh they don't have this or to normalize it like oh this is normal it is not normal because the struggle that we have gone through in order to try to not show that we all have some of these problems the length that we've gone to hide it it's been challenging so for me all my life i know it's a little different when it comes to the intellect when it comes to reading reading in public the way i i, I comprehend stuff is a lot slower than other people's but then there's other side of me that is extremely good at getting stuff and people don't get it as fast as i get it and i used to think that i was slow that i wasn't uh, smart enough like everybody else but then as i grew up and started thinking about all the stuff that i accomplished i'd be like there's no way that i can have i could have accomplished all these things from making all the way up the rank to sergeant major from competing and being an ifbb pro all, all the things that have accomplished college uh, having my degree personal training certifications and all the things that i've accomplished physically and academically I couldn't have done this without having some type of control over my uh, my my disability. I have been medicated for ADHD. And I don't believe in medication. Medication is not the answer for everything. I've learned to cope with certain things. I've learned to find other ways to deal with my dyslexia, and I've used my ADHD to my advantage. But so my message today is basically: don't try to normalize people or make people feel as though they don't have a problem. These individuals do have problems. So the best advice you can do is try to understand what it is that they're going through so you can better understand them see it through the lens of their eyes what they're feeling what they're going through so you can better communicate or help them now some may need to go get help from the medical professionals not all things need to be um, diagnosed with some type of medication but if that individual needs it then they need it um, ADHD is definitely one of those um, disability if you don't have a good control over it, it can, uh, chaotic brain I think my my uh, my dyslexia kind of offset my ADSD because the two work together but there are some parts of my life that the impulse for things that I do or say because of the uh, the hyper part of the the H and ADAD yeah it, it, it's it's in relationships and decisions I've made financial decision whatever being very impulsive but my ADHD brain my uh, dyslexic brain helped me to sometimes see stuff process stuff figure stuff out on my own and see the issues and the problems and able to fix it without actually having someone to tell me this is this or that is that or to do this or do that and that's the part that I'm kind of appreciative for so again you know Stop trying to normalize us and try to understand what we're going through. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, I peace.